Hello, I'm Carrie and I'm a third year undergrad at Yale studying architecture. This is a week in my life. I'm in Franklin and I'm getting breakfast. Or this was brunch because Saturdays and Sundays there's only brunch. So I just finished brunch, lunch, because it's like 12. And I'm gonna go to the art supply store because they have a discount on notebooks and I need another sketchbook. And then I'm going to the architecture school. So, little life update. Uh, <laughs> the chain is off the gear. So I cannot bike. I can't pedal. Anyway. I made it to the architecture school. My bike. Shout out Elvin for helping me put my chain back on. I'm headed up to the seventh floor of the architecture school where my desk is. Bright light warning. So every junior and senior architecture major in the design track gets a desk in the studio. So it's a super nice space where we can just work and keep our projects because it's really difficult to transport physical models from wherever you're living to the architecture school. My footage of the architecture desks is really shaky, so here are some photos. Here's a shot of my peppers because we have to draw the same peppers every day for 100 days as a floating project above the rest of our stuff. And this is uh, some furniture models I was making out of paper. Do you want to say hi to my day in the life first? <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Today Carrie is working on her architecture model. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Here's my finished set of furniture. No? Right now, we're walking back to Franklin <laughs> because we finish working in the architecture school. Well, we didn't finish, but we're just stopping. Well, I'm not doing architecture. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my sweet mate, Selena. Hello. What do you study? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my memory poop. <laughs> <laughs> She's very smart and very hardworking. And she dances. She dances in RB and Movement, which are two very good dance groups on campus. And they always sell out. They sell out like faster than BTS tickets. No, not faster, but... <laughs> Almost. <Close>. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Comparable. Yes. Okay, well, anyway. Good night. It's like 12. <laughs> <laughs> Selena and I agreed to go to the gym in the morning. Um, we said 9.30. It's 10.30, but we're still going. So... <laughs> Every residential college has a gym in the basement along with other facilities like a dance studio and so we're in the Franklin basement now. Hello, here's my outfit of the day. Jeans, my dad's, thrifted, cover 21. Let's go. <laughs> this is my architecture school desk setup. This is the back pit of the seventh floor where we have class sometimes. Hello. <laughs> I forgot to film, but we ate dinner. And I'm back in the studio and I'm gonna work. <laughs> so remember that room drawing assignment? I'm making a 3D model of my room and tracking footsteps and making a topographical map of my footsteps. Working in Rhino right now so I can laser cut pieces of chipboard and glue them together. Our TAs took us to the photo booth downstairs to show us the basics. Right. This is these are my architecture friends and my two oh, architecture TAs. Hi. Hello. They're very cool and they're very successful. Period. Debatably <laughs> 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 yeah. successful. And they're always here late with us to look at our stuff. So very grateful. Yo, Thank you. Life. I'm in the laser cutting room. This is my test piece. We'll see what happens. The original laser cut idea did not work, so I went back in Rhino and 
we did some things and laser cutters close at 12 midnight. So I can't laser cut, so I have to go home, which is good. I'm headed to Italian Renaissance art and I look a bit harassed because I have got to be late or I hope I'm not late, but I live in Franklin and the classes in the architecture school, those are like the two furthest points from each other on campus. It is day two of laser cutting. I've sort of figured out what was wrong and I remade stuff in Rhino, so. We'll see how it goes. I've cut and glued my topographical model, but I'm gonna go down to the shop and sand it a little bit and see if I can cut it in half. Uh, so it can be like a section. This is the shop in the sub-basement of the architecture school. I'm struggling with uh, solidifying my idea. So I talked with my friends and I'm gonna paint my little floor topograph topographical model now. So I'm going to the art store again. It's like Tuesday and I've gone three times. This is my model. It's a record um, success in terms of going home on time after, um, uh, before an architecture critique because I am finished at 1 a.m. which is honestly so good because last time I stayed up until like 5 but anyway, that was my fault poor time management I'm always so scared before crits because they can say really mean things or they can be really nice it all depends but um, I'm excited that I'm at least done, you know, and I have a product because sometimes that doesn't come until like an hour before your crit and you're like scrambling to like define what you just made, you know? So I'm so excited, I'm gonna sleep, hee <laughs> hee. Good night. Good morning, I'm headed to Arch 260 section, which is the historical survey uh, class I'm taking. And we're debating. I don't remember the last time I debated in class. So I'm kind of excited. I wonder what the format's gonna be. Um, we're talking about whether the Elgin marbles, which are like some of the Parthenon friezes, parts of the Parthenon frieze, and some metopes, metopes, metopes um, from the Parthenon and whether they should be returned to Greece because they're in the British Museum right now. So comment down below if you think the Algin marbles should be returned to Greece and why. At least 300 words, please. Thank you. <laughs> We're getting ready for crit. Hi, Ella. <laughs> I had dinner and I'm going home now. I'm so tired because like days leading up to the critique are always rough because you're refining your idea and um, hoping your project doesn't look like terrible. So I'm tired, I'm gonna go home and just chill. I have to be real with y'all. I woke up later than expected and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta go to class do, 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 for Italian Renaissance art. And then halfway through my walk, I was like, I forgot my ID. And I can't go anywhere, like I can't enter buildings and I can't eat lunch or anything like that without my ID. So I was like, okay, I need to walk back. But by the time I walk back, like I'm gonna be even more late. And then by the time I get to the architecture school, the class is gonna only have like 
10, 20 minutes left. So I was like, okay, I'll just get notes from a friend because I would rather just have that than, you know, interrupting the giant lecture hall. So that's where we are. I am headed to, um, what's my next class? Oh, like architectural history to 1750 or something like that. Um, so I will make that class. Hi Ernie! Hello! Chicken Tendy Thursdays are lit! God. Anyway, so for our next assignment, we have to find an 18 foot pliable piece of thing and it can be rope or fabric or something like that. Um, and so my friends and I are going to the thrift store this morning to try to find like cheaper fabric or a rope or ribbon or anything like that um, for this assignment. And we think it's mostly about how to document work much more than like if you can find an interesting piece of material hi nina hi ernie For a section, our TA was showing us different photo examples on how to document work and how to document it compellingly. This is part of Sterling Library that students don't normally go into, or at least I haven't really gone into it in my time here at Yale, but there's a classroom called the Gates Classroom where classes will have specific workshops here. And in this case, we were looking at the history of the Grove Street Cemetery, uh, gate, which is a cemetery here in New Haven, and so there's a bunch of documentation, uh, previous photos and renderings and different architectural drawings, so we were looking at that for one of our classes. The New Haven Grand Prix was also happening today. I'm getting lunch from Junzi and then I'm gonna go to the bike store because continuing the bike saga, my chain is now like always falling off the gears. So I'm gonna see if the shop can do anything about it and if they can't, I'm just gonna cut my losses and get a scooter because I don't really wanna spend any more money on this bike that's not gonna work. Good news guys, it looks like I don't need to get a scooter. He said my derailleur is just off, which means the thing that adjusts the chain from gear to gear is pushing too much. So he's gonna fix that. And hopefully I'll have a working bike, I'm so excited. I'm setting up the lights in the photo studio 
to get some shots of my 18 foot long piece of fabric. Hello. Hello. I'm home now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was informative to you because that's what I hope you get from it. I wanted to give you like what it is like to be a student at Yale. Um, if you have any questions left, please don't be afraid to comment below and I'll try to answer them.